Yeah. Let's get lit tonight. Let me see your hands wave from side to side. If you're bony high grade and you feel the vibe. Back with another uh, video. And uh, today's video is, well, I guess today we're on the marathon. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's going to be a lot of videos today. I want to really showcase the new stuff out of Seeker Slayers. And uh, we have we have 100. And he's out here. He's rocking the Wind Witch Invoke, man. I've been seeing the Wind Witch Invoke on the ladder kind of. I guess pe some people call it ladder. Some people call it ranked. I call it ladder. Uh, see a lot of people playing this Wind, Wind, Wind Witch Invoke. That was one of the decks that people said was going to be one of the best decks. Oh, uh, which Master Rule 5 came, and his opponent is playing, well, his opponent, I have a very long name, is playing the, uh, the Adamancipators, the Adamancipators, man, this deck is such super scary, it's all, like, pretty much, like, like, rock and earth monsters, and I've, I've seen people in the Madolce engine, just because, like, you can normal summon the, um, normal summon, uh, Magellan, get the, get the Pudding Sessor, special summon her, and then you don't even use effect. You can just overlay it. Uh, you, they're just earth. There's good earth monsters that are like quick to get out. So let's hop right into it. We got a hundred starting off playing uh, Wind Witch and Focus. So add another copy of Alistair and be able to go right into the uh, Wind Witch combo unopposed. His opponent doesn't have anything to stop it. He does have Nibiru, but uh, Nibiru is not going to be able to do enough because uh, one, two, three, four, his fifth summon is going to be Crystal Wing. So. Yeah, it's just not going to be able to do nothing. Because, like I said, fifth summons Crystal Wing will be able to negate monster effects. So it can happily go into Alistair and uh, use effect and make something if he chooses to. Because he just can't. And he'll be able to go ahead and make, uh, you know, our favorite warrior right here, Raging. Uh, we used to love this warrior back in Goki, man. Go he, like, it's the fusion for him was like nut. But he's going to go ahead and pass, and his opponent is going to uh, look at his hand and figure out what he can do. He's going to reveal an analyzer and a special summoning, and he's going to uh, get it booked immediately. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay, okay, okay. He went, he went, he went effect of um, Magellan and then got the place. But he's going to set one pass, and I'm pretty sure this game is like already over. Like, like I'm pretty sure this game is already over. Uh, he literally just makes that, man, goes into Purgatrio, and Purgatrio just, like, literally burns him down to a crisp. So, let's see it happen. Purgatrio, bam, and he can just, like, go back over the top and hit him with a Mucka Buck, just to add the icing on top, if he actually really wanted to, which I don't think he has to. I think he's just showing off a little bit now. But, um, this should be game one, I... Like, like, I missed the miracle. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, never mind. It, it, listen, as soon as you think you know something, they change the questions. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he's going to go ahead. You know what's crazy? Wait, one, two, three, four. He could have actually nabeared him. He could have nibiru him and left him with like, but the Nibiru token would have been huge. Defense on it would have been too big, and he probably would have just lost. But, you're going to go get to anyway. Um, a very long name admitted defeat, and we're going to see if Emancipators can like, uh, come back and like, do stuff, or if it's just going to be, uh, um, you know, it's going to be fallen, a fallen rock. Uh, we see, we see that 100 opens up uh, really good again. Uh, except that if you had the level 3 Wind Witch, it'd be even better. But, you know, you take what you can get. But the uh, Emancipator deck, he looked like he opened pretty nut too. So he has uh, he has the Hand Trap for the... I mean, he has the Call Bar for the um, for the uh, for the Crow too. So that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and mill those 5 cards. Not mill, but like Excavate, I guess. 5 cards, see which one you want. And it doesn't get anything you can keep. So he's gonna go right hand the needle for oh there is a needle for he synchros into their um their synchro, the theme synchro. And uh, he's gonna uh reveal five cards again and hope to get one. He gets one. Great for him. Uh which one is this? Is this the uh anal analyzer? Analyzer. Man, I hate when I can't speak sometimes. It be like that. Not it's not gonna be a home run every time, guys. So he's gonna reveal five again and hope to get another card. 
and he does he gets the water guy and this deck is so cool just because like you get multiple chances to special summon by just revealing five cards from the top of your deck like it does have like a sylvan esh feel kind of uh it's gonna go needle fiber here and oh, like damn near the whole deck is tuners like what the hell you know what i'm saying like like, this was the perfect thing. Unfortunately, the effects negate it. Let's see going to link it to it. Links it to Appaloosa for three. Uh, then he plays this card. He's going to crow, but like I said, he does have the call by. So, the crow is not going to do much of anything. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Big crow? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, he, oh, he gets another copy. He gets a copy of Guardian now. So now Guardian's gonna put in work for this Alistair that he summons. No? Why can't you just let him live? Is he another monster? Oh, he's a spell card. Signs. Yikes. Like, this is pretty strong. Like, like I'm not gonna lie. I also like that Doki Doki card. Doki Doki. Uh, or is it Dookie Dookie? But he has lightning storm and he's gonna blow away his two monsters like they weren't even there Like they're just gonna get blown back Blows away those two monsters and he has call by so like well, He can't even do anything and I just gonna go Alistair and then Alistair effect get this um He'll probably go ahead and like, yep, try to draw those quick two cards. And he draws another Alistair just in case. Like, like that. That was clutch. Like, just to go, just to have a second copy of Alistair is ridiculous. That is what we like to call in the business. It's better to be lucky than good. He's going to be able to get the Alistair back. And for next turn, he'll be able to have Alistair access to Invocation. And he'll be able to do his whole play. But for now, I think he's just going to go ahead and pass and, uh, and let his opponent see if he can break this. Um, he does have uh, Max and Max and he draws the Pudding Sessor. Um, so that kind of sucks. Because his graveyard is full of monsters right now. But he brings back the Synchro. Um, which one is this? A Seeker? Seeker is expensive. And Seeker goes to the top of the deck. Or back to the deck. Or to the top of the deck. And he mills uh, five. Um brings back seeker uh but he can't use seeker can he because of cal caliga doesn't caliga like lock you into something or something oh it makes his own crystal wing yikes it just attacks that like it's nothing and uh is this what this format's gonna be just crystal wing lockdown like what in the heck crystal wing lockdown but I like how he's like incorporating the Madolce cards into like his uh thing. But this is gonna get blown back by another lightning storm straight off the top. Like what in the actual straight off the top. Alistair's gonna come into play, try to give him the invocation. Alistair gets the invocation and he has nothing to stop it. So what's he gonna go into before he goes into uh Alistair? Yep, yep, Almirage into secure garden i think it is and then he can just go right here and he's gonna banish uh yep the wind guy and make his rage in and just attack attack for a clean 3200 you know just attack for 3200 and say uh pass that's not what i, I wouldn't try to do anything else i wouldn't try to over complicate it i feel like attack for 3200 is fine but he does draw monster reborn so he can get crystal wing back oh my god this is not, this is not, like, what in the actual? Crystal Wing is back in the building. And he gets the Modolches. Like, he's just, like, spamming Modolche cards. And, like, he just attacks. Wait, I don't think, I think you have to do this a certain time, right? Uh, you see this card from your hand to gray as a target one fusion once you control. He gains 1,000 attack and defense until the end of this turn. If this card is normal summon, you can add one. Oh, no. Why 
Wait, 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 wait. The boost is only if it's, uh... What? What are you talking about? Like, like... First off, the boost... I'm pretty sure the boost on this only happens if you destroy the monster in the field. Right? Or, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I thought it was only if you destroy a monster off field you got the boost. But he gets another one of those cards, brings back another synchro, and this is going to game three. So, guys, also while we're deciding, guys, don't forget to shout out my homeboy. Uh, don't forget to shout out my homeboy. It's there in the description below. You can uh, either check out Zach or Kevin. Kevin's going to be the first one in the description. He's working on his beats. He's been dropping a whole lot of beats lately. Go check him out, man. He's especially video game beats if you're really into that. And you can do a lot of loafy stuff. So if you're into that, man, please go check it out. It's gonna be the first uh first uh thing in the description. So we'll start off again and we got Invoked going first and he opens up the combo. His opponent has nothing to stop him, so we're gonna see a full blown um combo. It's no spell and traps though, except for uh the field spell, but that doesn't stop him because he does he is going to have multiple negates and it's in forest monsters, but he is going to have that call by the grave, so that's going to suck. Um, he's going to go ahead and synchro for uh, him, and he's going to synchro up for Crystal Wing. And we're going to see what happens when he normal summons to Alistair. Gets the invocation, he's going to go into um, Al Mirage, and I'm guessing he's going to go into the Cyburst guy. No. You're not going to get cards into your grave immediately? Okay, 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 okay. You got me. You got me. I thought I knew what I was talking about. I thought it would have been cool if he would have made that and made the light, made Makaba first. Because I think, like, having, like, dual monster negates is, it, like, way better. But, like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm the one tripping. Uh, it's going to monster your point. It's going to stop it. But, yes, yeah, call it a grave. And uh, he'll be able to get, like, cards out and do some stuff. So, even though Crystal will be able to negate stuff, he won't be able to negate everything. He special summons another one. Like, like what the hell? Like, how, like, how do you how do you play? Like, 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 like he can probably... There's probably a way he can chain block stuff, too. So, And he still has the Foolish Burial, which he, has, he does have Ash for. But, I'm just saying he does have, like, like cards and stuff he can resolve. Like... And, uh, doesn't this, like, let you pop something or something? Oh. He's starting to make plays. This Guardian's here now. And now Guardian can stop Crystal Wing? This is crazy! Because now he can play around Crystal Wing now. Because if I, he's already used the effect. He's already used the effect of Rasion. So now he, can just, now he can just do stuff to play around Crystal Wing. And then he can just special summon. I'll never, I'll never understand why he didn't just go into block dragon and like start like trying to do block dragon shenanigans. Because like to me that would have made the most sense. Just saying. Unless he needed like the third. Earth. No, he has earth in hand. So like to me it would have made the most sense. Oh, you need all three earths to bring him back. Oh, okay, makes sense now. Makes sense now. I think you go Cerberus here. No, no, you can't go Cerberus. I was supposed to say you could go Cerberus, but... Wait, did he already use the effect of Crystal Wing? Did he already use the effect of Crystal Wing? Because can't he just go Boral Sword and then switch his monster defense and then attack over it? Because you can't you can't respond to that? Like, like, like... Oh, he can't go Boral Sword because he, he doesn't have enough materials... Because he can't use, um, what you call it? Oh, see, that's why I think he should have just went Boral Sword. Because, listen, 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 listen. I know, I know he doesn't have, like, all the materials, but I think he should have, instead of making this, he should have made, like, a, a link to, like, Cerberus or Phoenix. And then he should have just, like, special summoned the block and went to, went into Boral Sword. And then attack with Boral Sword, activate effect to switch him to defense. Because he can't respond to it. And then he could have attacked over this, and uh, then, he, then he could have attacked, he, wait, he could have attacked, 
No, no. He could attack Crystal Wing, use the effect to switch to defense. He can't respond to it, so it runs over that. And then he could have attacked Raijin and used the effect to boost to cut him in half. And then he would have been bigger than Raijin even with... Um, even with Alistair, right? I guess he would have had to burn both his Alistairs, but then he has, like, nothing. So I think the correct play would have, instead of making uh, the Union carry, would have 100% been to just make, like, a Phoenix or something, and then make Bull Shark. So, we're well, right back into it. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to explain, like, my thought my thought process on it. Because, like, look, he would have been drawing Crow right now, and he would have been dead to rights, and he would have had to scoop. Because, like, if you only have Crow, you're not going to do much to a Boros or Just saying. But now he can just go into, like, a, a quick link, too. And then he can just, like, pop off. And he can get rid... He can freely get rid of this Crow to, like, get, like, another card. Yeah. Because, like, the Crow doesn't matter right now. He's just trying to kill him. And this Purgatrio is going to kill. 100% this Purgatrio is going to kill. He doesn't have anything on field or engrave much or much engrave and he has the crystal wing that can stop stuff so i just don't see him doing much uh he boot boost him with the alistair and that's a one two three four so it's boosted by 12 to 35 to 45 so 4500 so that's gonna be game guys thanks for watching this match it was a pretty good match uh we've seen the power of the one which invoked but you also see some of the power of the uh at mass pages so make sure uh, make sure you leave your comments down below on what other duels or matches you like to see. Because like I said, we're on a marathon. We're showcasing a little bit of everything. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As always, feel the vibe. Later, guys.